Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. Today I'm going to be using the winner of my Citrus Cleaner best of kind of comparison video, the KKD Citrus Magic Bug Splatter Kills Mold Spores Highly Concentrated Citrus Cleaner and Pre-Wash with a license on the instructions to use it as a general purpose interior cleaner and general purpose degreaser. Um, and also, as you can see there, the word pre-wash. Now, I'm going to be using it as a pre-wash today. If we go out and have a look at the car, it's a bit windy out here, so apologise for any wind noise. In the summer, you get different stuff going on. So look, it's caked. Look at that. That's just from driving around, like, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. This is now home to, it's like a cemetery of dead mosquitoes. And they're all over the glass and everywhere, even though you can't see it on camera. So just before it gets really hot today, it's quite early in the morning, but the sun's still out. We're going to use this. Why do you need a citrus cleaner? That's a question people always ask. Um, it's good in the summer, I find. Uh, the citrus oil is good at breaking down bug splatter and tar and things like that. Things that can't be emulsified. So in the wetter months, I'll just use a built hammer touchless. So that's a better road film removal product probably best on the market cheaper as well because it doesn't have the limonene in it but the reason i use this product or it won is it's effective at low dilution ratios so low pirs you could say so john what pir should i use this as at if i'm um snow foaming my car well a general rule you don't have to be too obsessed with pir but like don't use a concentrated product beyond 5% PIR is a good rule of thumb when you're using it as a pre-wash. Um, this product is still effective at around about 2% PIR for me, maybe even lower, probably even, probably it is even effective, maybe at one, but it'll probably be a bit too thin at 1% PIR. So if I bump it up to 2% PIR, which is roughly, probably about 200 mil or 250 mil, let's say 250 mil to 750 mil water in the lance, you'll probably get above 2%. That'll be a good thing. So roughly 250 to 1 to 750 in your lance, you could go 200 to 800. And I think the product will be effective at that. If you really go turbo mode with any pre-wash and you over concentrate it, you can get that thickness when you're rinsing it off the car and it's like peeling back a film. If you ever get that, you've over concentrated it, it may look like you've rinsed it, but if you have to do that, you can, they can tend to, when they, the car dries off, you can get filming issues. You can do. So you just don't want to over concentrate and you're wasting product. The whole point of these sorts of products, get the value for money from them, but they're very concentrated. So have a play around and get that right dilution ratio. When I'm washing my car on a day like today, I want to spend half an hour. I've got one bucket out there because the car, after the pre-wash, it's going to be very clean. So I'll go and pre-wash the car down, then do the contact wash. And then after that, <laughs> I'll use, I'll take the wash me out of the bucket, use my wheel brushes with my bucket of wash water, you know, um, and just I'll have another citrus cleaner and I'm just finishing off the Starmer Gloss one and I'll just spray that on the wheels after the pre-wash and then work it with those brushes after I've done the contact clean. So it means I only need one bucket. If you're doing a full detail on the car, you probably want all your buckets out and whatever, but this is just a half an hour thing. I have a couple of these towels out, which are really good. I've got the seal and shine that I'll just use, you know, spritz a bit on and just buff it into the panel a bit, blow out all the gaps with the, the air dryer. So that's all my drying stuff. And everything else that I need, I've got the brushes all laid out there, it's just there. So it's very little equipment. So let's get started and uh, pre-wash this. Okay, I think we're all switched on. So I've got it in here. Just getting this before it's going to warm up. Have I got enough cable in? Just about, just about. So here we go. Interesting to see how thick it is. Oh, it's really thick. Yeah, it's a nice thickness actually. That's going to cling to the car. Thicker than I thought it was going to be. That's really good. Look 
pretty thick. Hold on a second. There we go. Bit windy. Yeah, and that's enough really. Probably put a bit more down here. I think we use half of this. It's probably only used about like that 300 mil total solution, not 300 mil of the product, 300 mil of, of water in the product. So we use less than, I don't know, about 50 to 75 mil of product there, which is pretty negligible cost. You, you can use a lot. I mean, you could end up putting loads on, can't you? You don't need to. I'm really surprised how thick that is at that PIR. I mean, this is quite a punchy little system, and this this snow foam lance is very foamy. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty. That's that's just nice, isn't it? It's probably just what you want. And that's just going to sit there. It's warm at the back, so I, I, the dwell time does help. You, let's just go in the garage here. Talk about the dark arts of pre-washing. <laughs> the dark art of pre-washing. So it doesn't really matter how you put the product onto the car. If you want to put it onto the bottom of the car, to the top of the car, do it that way. If you want to put it on the top of the car to the bottom of the car, it doesn't really matter. I'd suggest you don't rinse the car first. Um, certain circumstances where that can be there's some you know it can be a good idea for whatever reason. But I want that product to soak into whatever it's doing and do its thing and then I'll rinse. Rinsing first for me, you know, you'll get stuff off. I'll blast some of those bugs off, but then I've got a film of water all over the car that's just gonna weaken the product down. So I tend to, I'll get to see what the product's actually doing this way. So put the product on at a sensible PIR. Suggest 2% is the point with this product where you start getting kicks getting kick. I wouldn't go up to 5%. It seems to be working great there. Um, you know, that seems to be a good good dilution. It feels rich on the panel. What else? Let it dwell, but do not let it dry. That's the only other thing, because when the surfactant dries or the chemical dries again, the dirt film will dry and won't, you've wasted that what the you know it's about wetting it out and softening it basically so you should keep an eye on it and then just rinse it and when you rinse it under pressure if you've got a hot pressure washer and then use that opportunity to really use the gun to get into the dirty areas and shift off the dirt and that's all there is to it there's nothing else to it um that's it <laughs> um yeah so I'm going to do that now. I'm really interested to see how that bug splatter comes off. Well, I'll give it a couple more minutes. It's still nice and wet. I've got, I could put more film on it to keep it wet as well. It's another little trick you can do. But um, Yeah, I'll just wait a second and I'll wash it. Okay, let's rinse this off. I'm going to go from the back where it's drying a bit quicker. Seem to mask up the hydrophobicity. Nice. Most of the top half is pretty clean, actually.
Well, just if they get it closer in, we could rinse out. Always blast in there, right in the corner. Always down there. Need to redo my glass. You see it's still feeding there, but not where the blade is. It's just got the rinse wax on it, the wax for This is the bit I'm interested in, if you can hear me. where this stuff comes in really handy. That bug scratcher. It's not going to strip it all, but it's going to get most of it. Soften it down a bit. That's doing a good job. Some of it's really stuck onto the paint, so I just need to go over it with a hog tear, but that's done a really good job. Always like to blast these bits down. Dusty one. Still working on these wheels. That's done a really good job. Oh, yeah, let's just blast that. What's going on here as well? Oh, I did blast this. Hold on, I'm just recording, love. Okay. Hold on. Hello, love. Yes. Help. I'll be in a second, yeah? I'll be in a second, yeah? Can't get a staff. Um, yes, I mean, that, that, this car is now ready to be con con contact cleaned. And if I just went straight in and tried to clean off the front of this car without pre-washing it, Everything's going to be a little bit harder to stick it to remove. I need to get in there and blast that bit. Just blast that. Um, but now your paintwork's 99% clear. So, in the summer months, it's a bit different, isn't it? You don't have all the road film. You have dust and bugs. So, I could probably have used less concentration of that product as well, and it would still work. If it was a bit early and I was fully in the shade, I could put it on leave it even a little bit longer but that's done a, that's done an absolutely great job and that's like you know 20p of chemical which is the most important thing for me is finding a really good chemical that doesn't when I dilute it down doesn't cost me an arm and a leg um, or else like I said before like I've said before you can end up 
using a contact shampoo that costs two pounds a wash, a snow foam that costs two pounds a wash, a wheel cleaner that costs two pounds a wash, um, a dressing, you know, if you use all the really expensive stuff, it can end up costing you more to wash it at, at home than getting a detailer to come in and do a maintenance wash for 35, 40 quid almost, almost. If you go with everything that's top expensive, so the whole point of doing it yourself is you're also supposed to save a bit of money. If you get caught up in the wrong trap, thinking that you need to buy this product and that product and all that sort of stuff, you end up paying more and doing it yourself, which is not the object of this. So anyway, I better get on and wash that because it's outside in the sun. So you get the idea, guys. Um, I'm just using, that car's got turtle wax rinse wax on it. And this underneath, and I'll just, once I've, you know, washed the car, I'll just spray a bit of this on. Go over with some of these small towels, which are good, they're just better for buffing than the, them. And I've got a couple there that are dirty, so I'll make up a load of them. And just buff out the paint with these soft towels and shine it all up. And that'd be it. Very easy. Thanks for watching, guys. You should definitely check this product out. I think it's really good. And it's... And it, it will save you, well, it, won't, it might not save you money. You might already have it like a snow phone, which is really affordable, but it will just be a good option. And as well as using it as a pre-wash, mix some down at about 10% PIR, so 100 mil to 900 mil product in one of these sprayers. And at 10% PIR, you can spritz some onto the wheels if they're a bit dirtier. Or you can even spritz some on, on the, all those heavy bugs at the front at 10% PIR and let those just sit and soak out and then go and snow foam the whole thing or whatever, you get the idea. But you've got a mixture of turbocharged stuff. You would also mix another one out at 1% PIR. So 10 mil of product for 9.90. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and that could be just like a general purpose spraying your dashboard, get any greasy hand stains off, you know whatever, interior kind of stuff, L very low concentration. So yeah, good. All this stuff down here, all of this stuff, that's Surfex. I don't even know what fallout remover that is. That's not auto uh, Coruscant, I don't know what that is. Uh, that's not, that's a hydrocarbon cleanser fluid. Very handy, you know, whenever, whenever I'm using any glues or anything like that. That's whenever some stuff that's not water miscible, you know, you can't clean with water. That's the turbocharged, that's that is a lot stronger than that. And that's emulsified as well, so you can rinse out for the car. So, TARDIS is very handy. Panel wipe, home brew, built hamper QD mixed down at one to nines that cost me pennies. FSE, if I got water spots on the car after washing it instead of using the seal and shine, I could use the SS FSE. If I keep talking, I'm probably gonna have water spots. McKees mixed down, tax seal mixed down, that says dressing mixed down. Atomac, very rarely use that, especially with the carbon ceramics. So I don't really need this Atomac, but I've got it there. So, you know, might as well just stick with it. Just some plain water. Okay, that's it, over and out. Doug.